it is my first time. It's uh, it's actually a first time for a lot of the guys in Nepal. There's only probably one player that is that has been here before, and that's that's Carl Kutzer, and he's. Um, He's spoken very highly of the country. He's he's given us uh, very good knowledge, very good information. Um, but like I say, we're very excited to be here and, and looking forward to to what the country has to offer. You know, you said we've done really well. I think there, there were games that we probably should have won that we we didn't win. So as much as it's been very very successful for us, the the sort of standards that we set, we know that um, we wanted to be top of the table. We want to make sure that we we. Re- remain top of the table but I think part of those challenges and part of that journey is is experiencing the the highs and the lows of the competition which is wonderful it creates uh, an opportunity to go to to, to home countries to, to to play in your own country in different conditions and then to go to other countries and play play these teams all over the world which I think is a very unique competition and and certainly a competition that the associate countries definitely need moving forward because it develops players, uh, it makes sure that the young players come through and they get to experience countries like Nepal and Namibia and America where we've been to. We've been to many, many countries this year already. So it's really good for, for the players and, and we hope that the ICC and we hope that a competition like this is is able to continue moving forward. Very different. Well, look, I mean, from a, from a, from a, a weather point of view, it could be reasonably cold at times and actually coming from Scotland we, we're quite used to that so we're used to the cold um, but in terms of conditions the pitch is going to be very different we know it's going to take some turn we know that the bounce could be a little bit different to what we experience in the UK or even have experienced in other countries that, that I've already mentioned that we've been to so again you know to to come over and experience it and you can train as hard as you want to and you can talk about it as much as you want to but until you actually in in the country and you're actually experiencing it in front of the fans that are going to be supporting Nepal and uh, you know that's that's another challenge that we're going to face and embracing that and and learning to to deal with that is going to be all part of the journey that the players and myself and the coaching staff have have prepped the players for so um, in terms of an experience I think it's going to be right up there being able to play in the subcontinent. Well what I've seen on, on social media is they're very passionate they, they they love cricket, which is great. Um, you know, we, we come from a country where cricket probably isn't the most important sport. You know, we have many, many other sports that probably top cricket, which is something that as a team we're looking to keep playing good cricket and hopefully cricket can keep uh, becoming a more popular sport in Scotland and it can become more mainstream. But in Nepal, it's, it's, it's right up there. You know, it's, it's, it's the biggest sport and, um, you know, the players are often quite worshipped as, as, as idols in the country. and. And that comes with a whole lot of pressure. You know, you've got to make sure that you're playing good cricket because when you play winning cricket, the fans are happy. Uh, and when you don't, uh, the fans are going to be expecting more. And, and there's been a lot of changes, certainly within the ball cricket. Yeah, I just encourage them to come down to the matches and come and watch some fierce battles on the field. Um, I'm sure that all three teams are going to be giving it their all. I know that certainly the Paul and Namibia and ourselves have a lot to play for. You know, we want to make sure that we're finishing top of the log. Um, Nepal and Namibia are fighting for a qualification place, which those games are really going to be very, very important. Every single game is going to be a must-win game for every single team, really, which is quite unique. It's a unique situation to be in. So I think the fans are going to get an exciting brand of cricket. They're going to get a brand of cricket they're going to want to come and watch. And I know they're going to come out and watch in, in, in sort of big crowds, which we wouldn't probably be used to. You know, in Scotland, we get not very, very big crowds. And this will be a good experience to have where we're hoping, you know, plus minus 10, 15,000 people can fill a stadium and, and come and watch some good cricket.